I would say Jarvis Days itself started somewhere in the mid-1990s. August was kind of a dead month, so we got the brainstorm of starting Jarvis Days, and it's been quite successful. It was a uh, mountain man rendezvous type gathering to start with, and it's carried on throughout then. Well, they have games for the kids. Uh, they sell arts and crafts, jewelry or whatever, have social. The street, uh, the outdoor end, puts on a barbecue. Well, there's a young couple that uh, have retired from the military, and they have a place here in town. They spend the summers here, and uh, they're ultra patriotic. And then they're the parade grand marshal, so to speak, go on. And we have the little park here that the kids are able to use some of the recreation equipment in there. And. There's a lot of ties to this camp for people coming back in and saying, oh yeah, my granddad was here or my grandmother was here. Well, the discovery of gold, mineable gold, was in 1909. But a guy named Dave Bourne was one of the prospectors and he discovered gold here in this gulch comes down the south end of town. Uh, it's just sort of a scenic, restful place. Well, it's physical location, being as remote as it is, it's 18 miles to the nearest paved road. And uh, eight months out of the year, that's the only way you can get in and out of here is out through Idaho. We get a lot of tourists from Idaho here because we're close to the border, as you know. The uh, terrain and the scenery is just unparalleled in the state. 